Hey guys, Austin here. I'm one of the pastors at the San Marcos Escondido campus, and I'm bringing you today's Daily Dose. No one said it was going to be easy. And you're like, Austin, what wasn't going to be easy? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, whatever you're going through right now, no one said it was going to be easy. For me, uh, no one told me that parenting was going to be easy. Uh, now that I have two boys, every day we're like, man, where is that owner's manual that says how we're supposed to respond to something? How, how are we supposed to act uh, when our kid says this or does this? There's, there's no uh, FAQ section on the website that says Google search uh, how to respond to this. And there's just nothing there. And you figure it out as you go. Uh, no one said whatever you're going through is going to be easy. And I'm sure that there are times in your life where you wish that there was like the matrix, a red pill and a blue pill, that you could take one of them and all your problems would be gone, that life would be perfect. Uh, there's that moment in the original Mario where you jump through the top of the cave and you get to skip over the entire level and you just watch all the bad guys below as you just run over top. That doesn't exist because what happens uh, is life. Life happens. And I think that we see that so often in the church where somebody has hit rock bottom, they find Jesus, they, they invite him into their lives and God starts working in their lives and their hearts. Uh, but then what happens is a month later, two months later, uh, the temptations that you had conquered before, you end up just kind of slipping back into. Uh, that moment where you finally curbed the appetite of gossip in your life and somebody dangles something out there and you just snatch it up because you are so hungry for that. It happens all the time. And I love as Paul is writing to the first Corinth, in 1 Corinthians to the church in Corinth, he, he planted this church and as he left, I think what happened is when he left, they went about their lives and over time life happened to each and every single one of those. So he's writing this letter of encouragement to them and he tucks this line in here and let me read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4. It says, I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Jesus Christ. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge. Because our testimony about Jesus Christ was confirmed in you, Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you, are eager, eagerly wait, as you eagerly wait for the Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. In verse 8, here's what he says. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, is faithful. In verse 8, it's this tiny sentence that he sneaks in there that says, He will keep you strong to the end. Today, I just want to encourage you that no one said it was going to be easy. But as you live your life in full obedience to Jesus Christ, he will keep you strong to the end. My prayer for us as a church is that we, whenever we fall down, we can get up and we can dust ourselves off knowing that we are sons and daughters of the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, and he pursues each of us, desires relationship with us, and through that relationship, he's going to keep you strong to the end. And I know that there are frustrations, there are trials, there are, there are the test result that wasn't a good medical thing for you. It's okay. Because God will keep you strong to the end. And I just want to encourage you today to hold steadfast to that truth. And when you fall down, get back up and continue living in obedience so that at the end of the day, we can say, hey, we did the best we could. Uh, no one said it was going to be easy. But today, just remember that God says in 1 Corinthians, as Paul writes to this church, as they're trying to figure out what it looks like to live a life of obedience with Jesus Christ, he said you will, that he will keep you strong to the end and that our God is faithful. Uh, today, church, go out and do that. Remember that our God is going to keep you strong till the end. But nobody said it was going to be easy. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.